Sophia Loren has not just captivated audiences, but has also made history. Named by the American Film Institute as one of the greatest stars of classical Hollywood cinema, she's the only living person to hold a spot on AFI's list of the 50 greatest American film stars, coming in at 21st. She got her acting start at age 16, initially appearing in minor roles. Her career took off internationally after signing a five-picture contract with Paramount in 1956. Her fame skyrocketed with films like The Pride and the Passion, Houseboat, and it started in Naples. During the 50s, she broke stereotypes and became one of the best-known sex symbols, often playing roles that were sexually liberated. Her groundbreaking work in Two Women in 1961 won her an Academy Award, making her the first actor to win an Oscar for a non-English language performance. Over the years, she's racked up an impressive list of accolades, including seven Donatello Awards, five special Golden Globes, and an Academy Honorary Award for Lifetime Achievements. But even someone as celebrated and iconic as Sophia Loren has her share of hidden struggles and undisclosed stories. In this video, we'll dive deep into the lesser-known, darker aspects of Sophia Loren's life and career. Facts First presents Uncovering Sophia Loren's Dark Secrets of Her Life Born into Poverty Sophia Loren was born September 20, 1934, in Rome. Although she later became a symbol of beauty and elegance, her early life was anything but glamorous. She grew up in poverty. Her parents were not married, and her father was almost absent from her life, providing little financial support. When World War II hit, the family's struggles intensified, living in conditions so poor that her mother was forced to give Loren water salvaged from a car radiator. At one point, they even lived in a tunnel for eight months. Entry into showbiz. Not pretty enough? Contrary to her status today as an icon of beauty, Loren's journey into the world of cinema was far from smooth. As a newborn, she faced malnutrition because her mother's health issues affected her ability to breastfeed. Forced to rely on an expensive wet nurse, the family gave up their meat supplies just to keep her nourished. The wet nurse later claimed Sophia was the, quote, ugliest child she'd ever seen, a comment that feels ironic considering Loren's future as a beauty icon. At age 17, she entered a beauty pageant where she met famed Italian producer Carlo Ponti, who was 22 years her senior. During a screen test, a cameraman infamously exclaimed, She's impossible to photograph. Her face is too short, her mouth is too big, her nose is too long. Far from defending Loren, Ponti added insult to injury, suggesting she consider altering her dominant profile. Loren later recalled this episode in her 2014 memoir, Yesterday, Today, Tomorrow, My Life. The teenage actress was irate at the implication. Her refusal to go under the knife not only marked a turning point in her self-perception, but also set the tone for a career that would defy Hollywood's narrow beauty standards. Rise to Stardom Breaking Stereotypes After signing a five-picture contract with Paramount in 1956, Loren's career trajectory skyrocketed. She starred in movies like The Pride and the Passion, Houseboat, and it started in Naples. Interestingly, it was during the shooting of The Pride and the Passion that she met Cary Grant. He was 52, already married to his third wife, while Loren was 22 and about to marry Ponty. Their relationship grew emotionally entwined leading to Grant eventually asking Loren to marry him, though she later refuted this claim. The Dark Side of Fame While Loren's star shined brightly in the firmament of Hollywood, it wasn't without its dark spots. For example, one of her most talked-about moments took place in 1957, at a Hollywood party thrown by Paramount at Romanoff's in Beverly Hills. The party was swarming with big names like Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, and Gary Cooper. Yet, Loren grabbed headlines for a different reason. Jane Mansfield, possibly not in a sober state, inched over to Loren's table and ended up placing one of her breasts on Loren's plate. A picture capturing Loren's disapproving look went viral, becoming an enduring meme. In another episode that underscores her no-nonsense attitude, Loren was asked about Marlon Brando at the AFI Fest in 2014. Her dismissive, eh, echoed sentiments that were less than reverential for a fellow icon. Legal Issues and Professional Hiatus 
Loren's life wasn't all about glamour and feisty comebacks. She also had a brush with the law. The specifics of these legal issues aren't widely talked about, but they add another layer to her multifaceted life. She also took a 10-year hiatus from acting, only to return in the 2020 Italian film The Life Ahead. Perhaps one of the most shocking events in Sophia's life was her imprisonment for tax evasion. In the early 80s, she was sentenced to 30 days in jail for failing to pay a substantial amount on her 1963 tax return. Despite her celebrity status and appeals for pardon, Loren served her sentence, an experience she described as deeply worrying. Relationships, an intricate web. Sophia Loren's romantic life was no less complex than her career. Her marriage to Carlo Ponti was a defining relationship in her life, but not without ups and downs. Although Ponti initially criticized her appearance, he later became her rock, supporting her through the many challenges of Hollywood. But it wasn't a fairy tale romance. They faced a huge age difference and endured a long period of separation due to legal complications concerning Ponti's divorce from his first wife. Adding more fuel to the fire was Loren's emotional affair with Cary Grant. Though they never took their relationship to the next level, Grant was reportedly so smitten with Loren, he sent her large bouquets of roses, even when she went back to the United States and was in clear view of Ponty. This triangular relationship was surely the talk of the town and added a layer of mystery to Loren's public persona. Loren's Later Years After her 10-year hiatus, Loren made that stellar return to cinema with the Italian film The Life Ahead in 2020. Although she played the role of an ailing local nanny, this was far from a quiet exit. Even at 86, Loren proved age was just a number and that she could still command a performance to remember. The movie was less a comeback and more a statement. Sophia Loren was far from done. An Unfinished Story Today, Sophia Loren remains active both on screen and off, involved in various humanitarian causes, and enjoying a life enriched by a large family, including her children and grandchildren. Her journey from her humble beginnings to her turbulent rise to stardom and her encounters with controversy serves as a fascinating story of resilience and individuality. Sophia Loren's life and career might be filled with glamour, but they also feature darker and lesser known aspects that make her the intriguing and enduring icon she is today. Whether it's her complicated relationships, the scandals that swirled around her, or her sharp-tongued opinions that could stir up a room, Loren is a testament to the enduring nature of true stardom. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your take on these darker aspects of Loren's life? Do they change how you view her, or is it just another layer to a complex individual? Let us know in the comments section below.